No. Nope. Here they are. What you just saw was a true story of me searching through my boxes, my totes, my little shoe boxes in scrapbooking bins trying to find projects. This is why I don't like to have UFOs. UFOs are something that are always needling at my mind and then you can't find what you're looking for. So I have spent the last three summers, not full time albeit, um, working on the Kinship Fusion Sampler. No Angel does 100 days, 100 blocks. And I fell off the wagon. This is the first time I have not followed a challenge all the way through. And then the pandemic happened, COVID came, work just escalated, and here we are. Decided this summer, um, this is one of the first of the three UFOs that I am working on. Now, the good news is that in this 100 days, 100 blocks, there was a sheet you can print off at gnomeangel.com and I'll show you her social. This pattern is hers, it's lovely, but you know, we all run into those projects that just send us sideways, right? So I have two. One is this and the other is Dear Jane and I, that's a whole nother video in the future because I got problems with that one. This one though is easy to make. Um, <clears throat> it's small, eight and a half, and then there's cool is that there are rectangles that are four and a half by eight and a half. I did this as a scrap quilt. The second half, I decided I needed to control the scrappiness because mine was looking absolutely bonkers. I will, um, put a couple pictures at the end when you see some of the stills because it was bonkers. It, I wanted to do this setting. It was too much, even for me. I like scraps. I like crazy. I like over the top and bright. No, it was too much. So then I sorted the, the colors and the blocks and I made two separate piles of 50 blocks each. And so that's what this is. And I couldn't find them. I couldn't find them today. I have quilts all over this house. I have my one room near my sewing table where I store all of my things and my cutting table is there. I couldn't find them. I spent a lot of time looking for them. Here they are. Here are the rectangles. Here are the squares. So I put this group was a specific colorway. I had done, you know, like piles with red and pink and teal. And this one has the brighter reds, pinks, teals, um, yellows, things like that. The other pile, I decided to do a more controlled scrappy. So that's what you saw on the cutting table was a pile of fabric that I wanted to do the last 15, do you hear the angels singing? 15 blocks for the second half and there are some crazy ones in here this half is going to be more of the peaches not true pink but more of the peaches and teals so this is the colorway but there are some crazy ones in there that I like but I'm not sure are going to make the cut because the colors are a little much but I have been really doing a lot of research on how 
to lay this out because there are a few different ideas in the book, but there are even more ideas since this was first published that have been put on her website as well as on Pinterest because, like I said, third summer, if you did all 100 quote blocks and sewed it together and finished it, you could have been put in a drawing. So there are lots of people who were put in the drawing over the last two summers and even more who will go into the link up at the end on her website. So I've been going and looking at the link ups and playing around with a few ideas. So today I thought I would spend the rest of the video showing you a few ideas and where I'm headed and maybe get some of your feedback on what I should be doing with this quilt that I have made totally crazy. It's too much. So it's gonna be two different quilts, 50 blocks each, and if that's too much, I may go a third quilt and pare it down. But I wanna show you a few ideas that I've seen on the internet, a few ideas I've had on my own. One tip before we go to the design wall is don't do what I did at the beginning and store the blocks with other things on top of them. I knew when I did it that I was going to lose that tote, that little shoe box. This one is great because it's clear and I can see what's in it. The other one had a solid colored lid. Don't put other things on top of your project and don't don't mix it up just to save storage space. I am a terrible organizer. I like my things. I like clutter core is my home and my crafting space is a little chaotic. It's better because I have been sorting and rehoming things, giving things away. A lot of things I've inherited. I have customer quilts in there too for my long arming services that I do. Um, but I still have my own projects. So <laughs> the first thing is prioritize your projects and do one at a time if you can. And if you can't, don't put two projects together or put miscellaneous on top of your toes. So let me show you what I'm up to. Here's one idea. It was too much doing rectangle square, rectangle square. So I thought it would be more interesting to put a square with two rectangles and then I will put a solid color patch there. I like this idea. I could sash it make it large enough for a twin size, and then put a border on the outside that could be a pretty multicolored fabric. So this is idea number one. I do like it. Here's another idea of doing them in like little quadrants. Too busy. I don't like it. So that idea is a no-go. Let me show you a couple others. Now here's some two ideas that I'm not opposed to because there's a lot more space in between the, gr the groups, which I would probably do a white fabric. Here's a group of four, instead of quadrants all mashed together, how about just two squares, two rectangles, put together in a set like this as a block. Or maybe I could do something a little different and go with down here, just rectangles of two with a large group, a large width, larger width, maybe not quite that wide, of a sashing. But it's still pretty crazy. There's another idea that I'm going to show you next. It's kind of fun. But what about this? Where you could go with groups of four and then use your little rectangles as sashing and then I could disperse it a little bit with like a really thin white in between the groups whether I choose to do a group of four or a group of two. That one's growing on me also. So this is a couple of ideas that I've been floating around in my head and I'm really, really excited about trying some different ways of doing a layout for the Kinship Fusion Sampler. 100 blocks, 
last 15 to go. I am very excited about getting this done. I, I'm liking it more. A month or two ago, I wanted to throw the whole thing away, like I do in many of my projects when it gets to the three-quarter mark. So anyway, you have a great, great week. Are you working on UFOs like I am? Are you clearing the decks? Do you have any uh, fall projects you want to work on? I sure do, and that's why I want to get these finished, and hopefully I can get my Halloween quilts going shortly. Have a most wonderful week, and quilt on, everyone!